Greetings, this is Edward Ojumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript we use to search strings via regular expressions. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to use regular expressions. Use one of the several built-in regular expression methods to find a substring within a string. Ojumboshop.com learning JavaScript course web ID can be used for the story and also inspired this tutorial. So JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So as you can see here for the regular expressions, I do have a glossary for patterns, anchors, flags, and methods. I explain all of them in separate tables here. So the methods you can use for regular expressions are uh, execute match, replace, search, and test. For most of this tutorial, I'll be using replace because that's the one usually when you find a, a substring, you do want to replace it. So I'll be using uh, replace. But the others like, sir, uh, like match and search are also important because sometimes you might be checking to see if it exists or not. So you don't really need to replace it. But most of the time, you do need to replace it. And as for the flags, you have the global flag. That means to find all matches anywhere uh, on the string. You have uh, uh, case insensitive. So what this one will do is, for example, if if a word is camel case, so it starts with a capital letter and lower case. Uh, if you if you just want to replace them, you can uh, search for them. So one good use for this one is. Maybe you're trying to do a sanitization. You want to remove all instances. So that's that's a good case to use the ignore case, case insensitive. There's a multi-line flag because sometimes you might get a string that is multiple lines. It could be two lines, three lines, and you want to replace all instances. So you want to find all matches. That's the one here. And there's one that's rarely used. It's the Unicode. This one will allow you to... Uh, uh, to search so sometimes it might be for example uh, you if you use Microsoft Windows they use uh, UTF 16 LE or something like that while others like for example the Unix which is also includes Linux and Max they use UTF 8 so if you have something as you're looking for specific flags or weird characters you might want to be consistent with the Unicode for our for our purposes here today, we'll, we'll just use UTF-8, so everything, we don't need to use this uh, flag. And down here, this uh, the most common anchors, for example, this character here matches the start of the string, this character here is the end of the string, then you have the multi-line flag, and we have the boundary, we, uh, boundary matches and non-word uh, non, non boundary. Then down here, this are also the patterns. Uh, the dot is matches any character uh, slash D for any digit slash S for uh, white space. The as asterisk here is for zero or more occurrences. Plus is one or more occurrences. Question mark uh, ma makes the preceding element optional. So here an example is if you're looking for a word and you don't know if it's plural, you want to match it when it's singular or plural, so being the S. So what you can do is you can use this uh, question mark and now we'll do that. And then this one here, this matches exactly instance. So maybe you only want to match one instance. So you, you can use the squiggly bracket and uh, whatever the number is, one, two, three. And then this one here, you can say I want to match so much three, but at most four as well so this is you can use this for when you need to that for example in in the example here i'm doing it to to match uh, a digit exactly three times and this one is three and three times but at most four and you can ex uh, you can expand here to see the code snippet and here's the screenshot of the tutorial from today and the output so let's begin Okay, so I'm going to create a multi-line string. I'll use 
a template type string world in second line hello hello world do the methods first So this is the execute method. Next, I'll do the match. These are all literal methods. Oh, sorry. The, this is the regular expression. And here is an example. I'm going to use replace and I'm going to use the regular expression constructor. And I'll use the literal method. So the difference between that is the literal, you just put your regular expression a delimiter. So we just use slash. Then there's also the search. And then finally, this test. And then let's try flags. I'm just going to use replace as I said before, just to make it easier uh, instead of using well, any of the others, but you, you, you're free to use any one you want. So there's the global, as I was saying, the global will search all instances. And then I will also here I will use the case insensitive. Then I will also use the multi line one. Global multi-line and case insensitive oops it's earth now we're going to use anchors so the first anchor i'll use is the beginning of the line or starts with start of string this one is going to be the end 
of the string. So we we'll use the dollar sign or dollar symbol. This one is going to be a boundary. This is also going to be a boundary, but this boundary is going to be at the end of the word. Okay, then uh, what I'll do is I'll do the none word boundary. So that's, oops. For the none word boundary, it's a capital B. Then we'll do, finally we'll do a pattern. There are many different patterns. I'll just, uh, I'll use a simple one here. I'll use a question mark. Okay, so test, where is test here? Oh. The test, I forgot to... There we go. This is the results as you can see here. Going back to... Be sure to subscribe so there will be more frequent uh, videos. Also, you can comment if you want specific tutorials. Uh, this is the video as you're watching right now. Uh, you just can see JavaScript is open source. It's licensed under the MScript standard, allows commercial use, modification distribution, allows making derivatives proprietary. If you'd like to learn JavaScript, I do have a course on ojumboshop.com. You can learn at your own pace 24 seven. Uh, all you need is a web browser, uh, the JavaScript and the compiler as we just saw in the tutorial is already there. You just pay a one-time fee and you can get 20% off using a promo code SCHOOL until the end of 2024. If you prefer just to get the ebook version which won't come with JavaScript or the compiler, 
you can get it on Amazon you search for Edward Ojambo or just the links are in the description you can also get the links here on the references the learning JavaScript course on ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon and if you want custom uh, tutorials applications and websites using JavaScript or any other programming language you visit ojamboservices.com thank you